I got a, a what you game got right that I would take home right away and okay. play. And I think you already know what it is. And that's Star Wars. Fall Jedi. Order. Jedi Fall in Order. Have you heard any more? Like, I have went out of my way, especially late last night and early this morning, listened to some uh, people talk about what they saw. This, this game? This fucking game has a Dark Souls vibe to it. Does it really? Yeah. There's areas where you, you med- as a Jedi, you sit and meditate, and it repopulates the world with enemies so you can grind some more. Like... There's a fucking Dark Souls element to this awesome looking yeah, Star nice. Wars adventure. Like, I was already all in, and then when I heard Brad Shoemaker, because he loves the Souls games, when he was talking about this and talked about that, I was like, no fucking way. Like, everything now is like, quote, games as a service, to where we don't have to do a lot of storytelling up front because we're going to keep adding shit to it that keeps people engaged. <laughs> This is the opposite. You know how much I'm tired of hearing I hate that, that fucking I fucking phrase. Hate I'm so it. tired of hearing games. But what else? What else do you call it though? Like it, that's no, the problem, I know, but you know? I just I hate it. I just can't. God, it's so it. cool. Oh, look at that shit. Dude. The way he fucking stabs yeah, him with a saber yeah. and then tosses it, just like in Masters of Terracassi. Yeah, and the- Gosh, <laughs> shut up! <laughs> wow. No, Rick. I don't even know. That just I just felt like it got real dorky that's in a here. Terrible fucking video game. It's a Star Wars it's fighting a, game. Yeah. It's awful. It's There's a move where he fucking throws the lightsaber like that. Yeah. I really, really like this game. No, so this is the one you would... This is the one I would take right now. Like, you don't have to wait long, bro. You don't have to wait long. I think this yeah. is October... Oh! And it's the, the Titanfall... Way like, it's the Titanfall the guys. Over, over Pokemon oh. and everything. Yeah, dude. Wow. Really. Yeah. I don't think he's that big of a Pokemon guy. You I- can hijack an, a- an AT-AT, I think, in this fucking yeah. game. Like... I don't know if you watch it, Woo! not to get on this, but I feel like I had to pull the excitement out of him for the Pokemon stuff. Like, what's your deal, I mean, Rick? Because it's just more Pokemon. It's not. It's a new Pokemon. But it's more Pokemon. Oh, ch- you sound just like the the Uncharted people. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I'm saying it. Yeah. Like, and look, look that's... November 15th. That's, yeah, okay, November 15th. That's not a bad thing, by the way. I'm not knocking yeah. Pokemon for being more of the and same. And he is excited. And as somebody who's funny. never played a mainline Pokemon game, this might be the one I actually yeah, do really jump cool. into. because it's, it's really cool. Yeah. Uh, but dude, yeah, Jedi Fallen Order, dude, November, I'm in. Wow. Well, what was the game, did you see a game that you, like, if you could take it home now, you would? I didn't think was about it, that no, enough. Was it Gooigi? <laughs> no. No? I don't know. You know what I, I think I'm I super happy? Animal Crossing? Uh, I, I actually, I put that in there, what? Uh, do you play Animal Crossing? No, but I, well, I actually added that in there because oh, I, I've always been intrigued. Yeah. And I probably will, like, I want to hear more. But I almost got the one that was for, I think it was New Leaf, and I think that was for 3DS. Yeah, 3DS, 3DS. Yeah. yeah. I was watching Dan from Dan's Gaming play that a lot, uh-huh. and it made me, like, it's another one of those things where I just like the way that it looks yes. and the environment yes. sucks me in. And there is a part of me that always kind of like, oh, yeah. They, the, it's the OG farming simulator. It's Harvest Moon. It's mm-hmm. Stardew Valley. It's, like, and that's not a knock. That's just yeah. saying that's the type of game you're getting. Yeah. And so, yeah, like, this is absolutely on my radar. Uh, I want to hear more. I'm definitely intrigued. I showed this, my sister... I don't know where you stand on this. Um, I'm afraid if I get it, I'm going to get way too sucked into it and, but like, so lose I. all Because this is one of those concept. games with no no beginning and no end. But so you got to switch. You can pick it up whenever you want. <laughs> I know, but it's dangerous for me. Well, do it. Um, but, yeah, I showed my sister this because she's a big Animal Crossing fan. Uh, she's played a few of them, and uh, I showed her this trailer, and she got really excited for this. So, like, she wants to, like, I know it's not out yet, but she's been try- she's been wanting to buy a Switch for a while now, but she's yeah, still she waiting wait. for that revamp or whatever they're doing. Um, but uh, I don't think they've shown us the tip of the iceberg. Yeah, I don't, I don't think so all. either. But I just, there's just something, I don't know, it's weird. There's something about just the way that it looks. Like, it's cute. But I feel like there's evil behind their eyes too at the same time. <laughs> yeah, like yeah, motherfucker. When turnip prices and bell prices drop and you can't get any money for the shit you've spent fifty <laughs> hours farming, it's fucking dark, dude. It's uh, dark. Like this part right here. Like when my sister saw that, she laughed. Yeah. Because apparently this guy's dick. Yeah. And likes to charge for everything. Yep. Um. <laughs> I think I read something. I don't know if it's him, but like the the producer of the game said and talked about one of the characters that they got fired from their job and that's why he's up i don't remember what it was but i'm just like man i am definitely curious about that game uh but yeah so those games never really 
speak to me, mm -hmm. but it looks cool as shit. Yeah, it just it looks awesome. Yeah. And maybe it won't speak to me either once it hands on. But I, I, om I seriously, like, I almost got it for 3DS. I just never did. Right. So you don't really know, like, what you would bring home if you could? <sighs> I mean... Yeah, I don't know. I don't yeah. like. I, I can't pick. So you know, like, I'm that. bad with that stuff. Here's the here's the cool thing I want to say about E3 this year. As down as people want to be on E3, um, the stuff I'm looking forward to the most are not sequels. It's not, like, with the exception of Cyberpunk and I guess Outer Worlds is considered a big gigantic game. Also, like a mm. big publishing. Cyberpunk like, is a sequel. No, no, no. It's a oh, huge right. fucking like triple A title. Big. Oh, game. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. But like, Damon X Machina, fucking. Uh, Astral Chain, um, Outer Worlds, uh, the uh, Link's Awakening, uh, like games like that are the things I came away most excited about. Mm. It wasn't, and it never usually is with me, but it's nice that it wasn't fucking Call of Duty or a Battlefield or yeah. Um, we didn't see any of those. Didn't we? No, well, Call of Duty had its big blowout. Yeah, before. before. Well, with their single player stuff, I guess they yeah. were showing multiplayer at E3. Oh. Um, but yeah, like I, I guess like the biggest thing I'm ex like big major title is that I'm excited for is Cyberpunk. Um, and as even as they really didn't give me anything, but as much as I love Halo, that's not like that's not even the one I said give it to me now if you could because. Oh yeah, they're coming out on PC. I'm, Halo, uh, the Master Chief. Uh, the Master Chief collection. Yeah, that they've been yeah. working on that for a while. I'm excited because I, I want to buy it because I've never got to properly play the Halo. Well, games. if you get uh, Games Pass, Game Pass, you can get Master Chief Collection with that subscription. Um, I'm not gonna get the Game Pass. I'd rather just buy. It. Okay. <laughs> I mean, there's so many good fucking games you can play though for ten dollars a month. Uh, too many passes. Or fifteen a month if you. Yeah. It's really okay. Um, that was the that was the thing that I was like tired of hearing about. By the way, with streaming services. Mm-hmm. Um, I got, I, I always talk about it here when we talk about movies and TV where like, you know, people who are, you know, quote unquote cord cutters cut the cord because they don't want to spend a shitload of money on their cable bill. But then they have Hulu and Netflix and Amazon and HBO and, oh uh, yeah, dude. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Like Disney I, there's... now. And, and like now we're at a point where it's Stadia and X cloud yeah. and Ubisoft and I think. I think I said this last, or maybe I said this to Rick off the air. I don't remember, but it's getting to the point where, like, yeah, like it's even something, the cable. even something like YouTube, their TV. I'm not singling them out, yeah. but I was looking at one of them, and it's like if you wanted to get everything that you wanted to get, that's it. Honestly, it was like eighty bucks a month. I'm like, how is that fucking different yeah. from? It's not different. It's just is it's it almost like their new their TV. There's there's packages that you could get where you have everything. I don't know that it's YouTube. I'm so it's one of I them. I think YouTube is like fifty bucks right now. There's there's one of them where if you get literally everything I don't Ooh, remember, I don't remember like if it was that. Sling I don't remember if it was PlayStation yeah. View but it's beside the point even fifty bucks is insane like yeah. it it was yeah it was eighty bucks a month not a year a month like how that's, that's not stupid. that's not different from cable yeah and then like when I, when these services like first started um they go back to two thousand five six seven eight and stuff and like I had Netflix and it was eight dollars a month. Um, I had Sirius Satellite Radio, which was $11 a month back then. Mm -hmm. And then I had a Gamefly uh, subscription, so which was price though, right? $13 a month. That's yeah. That's nice. And so I was getting all of my entertainment needs met for under $50. Right. Now, it's I've got Netflix, and I've got Amazon Prime, and I know there's other benefits other than just their shit, their, TV, their uh, streaming stuff. Mm -hmm. Um I'd have to get Hulu if I want to watch some things, but I don't have Hulu. Like right now, I have WWE Network, I have Netflix, and I have Amazon Prime, and those are the three services that I have. And that's kind of it. I don't want to have to spend ten more dollars. Like I don't want to have to spend fifteen dollars a month for a Ubisoft thing, and then yeah. have to pay again for another ten dollars for Stadia Pro, so I can access my Ubisoft stuff. Also, like. That's a bit much, guys. That's a bit much. Um, I think the only one that makes sense is Microsoft's $15 a month because it comes with Xbox Live Gold, Game Pass for the Xbox One, and Game Pass on the PC for 15 bucks a month. Yeah, that was pretty insane, that pricing. Yeah. Definitely was. But so, I don't know. It's interesting. 
I'm excited about... Are you trying to prove me wrong or something? Like, no, 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 I'm just looking. I up. saw something. I don't know yeah. what it is. Like, you have to remember, they're going to show you these prices on the thing. Starting but then, at... But, but then, gonna, but yeah. then but it's like if you... It all if, adds up. If you add, like, the... If you add, like, but you also want the sports channel and you also want to have the DVR stuff, then next stuff, thing you know, yeah. it bumps up. Like, there yeah. was one of them, I don't know, like, so people don't... Don't at me. You can anyways. But <laughs> I don't know if it was YouTube or PlayStation or whatever. I'm not singling out a thing. I just know that I recently looked into it and I saw that you could spend upwards of 80 bucks a month no, I, I, when it's all said and done. I'm not doubting you. I was just trying to find out which one it yeah. is. I, yeah, I know I'll one of them is There's like definitely $80. one that's like that. It might have been Sling. I don't know. Maybe. Um, 